Jason has our Sunday forecast. It is moist, rainy. One of my let me get one of the words I hate the most is moist, but it is very moist outside. It is rainy. How long is this going to last, Jason? Yeah. Well, you know what, January? That is one way of putting it. I call it gloomy, damp. I mean, it is just dreary out there, raw, nasty. Oh. That is so many adjectives thrown yep. at you right now in Northeast Ohio, but that's okay. You get the point. 73 degrees. Today's warmest temperature, 79 is the average. We were stuck nearly 70 degrees last night. And remember, if you joined us around 11 p.m. yesterday, I did tell you that temperatures will likely be flirting with 70 degrees waking up this morning, and that's just what we had. The cloud that right now is very much so lowered, only a couple, a few hundred feet above the surface at this hour for several areas across Northeast Ohio. You can already see what it looks like for our friends over in Brook Park, Bedford Heights, and even Stowe. That reflection there showing that the rain is glistening on the roadways. Over the next few hours, here's where we're going here. Temperatures again mirroring what they were last night, sort of a rinse and repeat pattern. But tomorrow we will get a little bit more of a break moving in with lingering rain chances. 70s widespread, but this week a messy start, a mild to a warm finish. So let's dive into the forecast and show you what's happening here. We do have a system just kind of sitting across Northeast Ohio at this hour. That area of low pressure is meandering across the region, causing a snare, moderate to heavy rain showers across the region. Again, yesterday when I was saying rounds of moderate to heavy rain, again, that's what we're dealing with because this system is slowly pulling north and east outside of the region. So it's throwing back some of those east winds across the area. Moderate to heavy rain showers you can see there across the area. We have a green box. I'll show you what's happening there. But we have quite a bit of shear happening just along the border between Ohio and also Pennsylvania. A tornado warning did pop up for that area just to the south of um, the Youngstown region roughly about 20 to 30 minutes ago. It is moving over towards the east, so it's not reverberating coming back across the region. So that's great news for us. Flood advisory in effect. We've already had one to two inches on the ground already because of the heavy rain. That advisory continuing through about 745. So that is the theme of our weather story for today, folks. The heavy rain that we're getting, the, the soil is already soaked from the rain, so it's just stacking up across the region. So we have to be mindful of our gutters and also some of the roadways there with low depressions. Here's what it looks like in terms of rainfall accumulations across the area as of right now for the past 12 hours. One to two inches, two and a half. You can see there for our friend just to the south of Richfield over near 20. Overland, you can see there one and a half inches for you. That is near the Kipton and also Pittsville region as well. The rainfall accumulation rate from the uh, Euro model is showing that we still stand a chance to get at least uh, a half inch of rain showers here in downtown, perhaps even nearing two inches for our friends over in Ashtabula, Ravenna, just under an inch of rainfall and nearly a half inch. You can see for Akron, Canton, Worcester at about uh, nearly an inch for you. So let's roll the clock forward. Keep an eye on the clock when you're placed on the map. Your national design or hour by hour forecast will continue to churn more and more heavy rain across the region through the next 12 hours. Look at this around 10 p.m. Still talking about a very heavy storm likely to move through. This is not expected to, to be tornadic, though, which is good news for us. But of course, flash flooding concerns will be the biggest thing that we're going to be keeping on our radar overnight tonight. No pun intended. Look at this line. So this is when the low is pulling away. That frontal boundary is moving on through. You're going to see this arrow here change from the south and then flip. And we're going to be talking about a more of a north wind come in by the time we get to Monday afternoon. This is good news for us because that means the frontal boundary is passed passing on outside of the region. We switch out low pressure for high pressure, and that change really starts to take effect on Tuesday heading in towards Wednesday. But until then, we're still going to be dealing with some of this wet weather. Here's a union home market seven day. Once we get towards Wednesday, pop is going to be likely with sun and clouds. More sunshine expected by Thursday and Friday as we warm. And then we have another system coming in for it next weekend as well. On Saturday, September 17th, I want to invite you guys to the Clean Water Festival presented by Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District. It will be held at the Sewer District's wastewater treatment plant right over in Cuyahoga Heights. Three News is an illustrious media sponsor, and I'll be there about noon that day giving away one of Linda Zoltan Wood's painted rain barrels. The event is for free, and we're honoring Water Quality Month that was in August, but of course, we continue that as well for Northeast Ohioans. It's free, it's fun, and of course, it's family friendly. If you want more information, go to that web address on the screen.